That's good. Okay, that's interesting actually. What are some of the best and worst things about your generation? Um, we spoke a lot about just like it's kind of hard, and I know, and I know, and I, I think I, um, I'll give you a kind of a couple minutes, to, a couple seconds to think about it. You can give me one bad, one good, um, but uh, yeah, talk about some of the things that you've noticed in your generation that one that you are like you know happy about, something you're like not really happy about. Oh, because like with our generation, we are stupid people. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're not really stupid, but we are stupid. Like, let's say for example, mm-hmm. right? Um, something happened, like yeah, and then we put out the most vile insults out there mm-hmm. without even knowing the other side of the story, mm-hmm. and the other side of the story might be right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for let's say for example, oh, um, let's say Jeffrey mm-hmm. did something mm-hmm. really bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they only saw one part of the really bad, mm-hmm. but, but not the other part of the really bad. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So then they just start hating on Jeffrey. Yeah, they start hating on Jeffrey, but without hearing Jeffrey's sides. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Think that's, do you think that's because of, like, cancel culture and how you guys have grown yeah, up? Yeah, cancel culture. Whatever that is. I mean, I know what that is, but... <laughs> you guys so, are like, I don't even care. Yeah, you don't care. Like, we heard, we heard one side that... One side seems better, so... Here's another question before you answer that. Do you guys care about politics? Half the time. What do you mean? Let's try to explain that. If you Rishi can. Sunak, I I do not give a damn about him. But at the same time, I do. But you guys don't pay attention to politics. No, not really. I mean, some of us do, but I per- me personally, I don't. Do you talk about it in school? No. Well, kind of. Like when the big decisions were coming up in the like, let's say in secondary, people were talking about it bare, mm-hmm. but it kind of died down after like uh, two days, and then yeah. Was that the same thing that happened with Andrew Tate? Oh yeah, no, but it, Andrew Tate was a long, like long-lasting thing. Mm. Yeah, but it kind of died down. Yeah, kind of, kind of died down. Okay, so what's some of the best things about your generation? Best things. Well, did you, you so you said the worst things that like you guys are stupid, and you don't really care about anything, like you don't take anything seriously, you just take one side of things. Yeah. What's some of the best things about your generation? Oh, we really good at like, um, like mental health basically like we've, re- we've really educated about it i don't know how but i'm not but like a lot of people are mm-hmm. yeah so but i mean it's obvious to see why though because like even in my generation they were like big on mental health in school always teaching us about mental health and like yeah, but they therapy really, but they really help in school in schools they don't really help they just we just like people in my generation just started to like care so, oh so the people care not the schools There's yeah not, like the, the schools don't really help. They, uh, they they just repeat the same thing all over again every year. How do the people care? How do like the group of people care? Like let's say they care by like um oof. Me like, personally, you just like reassure them and like give them advice and stuff like that. And and that's happening at your age. You're saying at 16 yeah, years old, people are like like 16, um, 17, 18. People are like trying to reassure each other and like giving them advice and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's ba- basically it. Aside from all the vaping. Aside from all the... Okay, okay, let's speak on mental health then. What are some of the... How do you think using social media affects your mental well-being? And, like, what do you think about the impact of it on your friends and stuff like that? Oh, mental health can affect so much people at the same time it can't. Mm-hmm. It, ca- it can't. Mm-hmm. Because, like, let's say people just don't care about what you say to them online so they can just, what, keep on doing it. Mm-hmm. But... At the same time, it could take a big toll on people because, like, it can lead them to go kill themselves, mm-hmm. which no one wants that. Mm-hmm. But people just, like, give them hate so much that, what, well, it leads them to do it. Yeah. But, but at the same time, um, social media, that's what, that's what it, basically what social media does. But at the same time, social media can also help them um, because, like, uh, they can, sh- sh- like, as I said, share, like, reassuring messages, um like try help them not to like what commit suicide can you see that on youtube yeah of course man it's fine don't want my thing it's not even subscribe oh it's not even like um one size okay so how do you how do you um make sure that you you use social media in a healthy way what kind of what some of the things do you do with me i private my accounts well not really but i do i think my insta is privated mm-hmm. maybe um like or I do. All I do is like, let's say you, ha- you know how you have close friends on Insta. Mm-hmm. Uh, I put most of like 
the stuff I do. I put my trusted friends on my close friends, mm-hmm. and I post stuff on my close friends. Mm-hmm. And I have a sep, I have a separate account for only the friends that I only trust. Mm. So I just put post a bunch of stuff there. Mm. Yeah, like every day. Do you have like uh, Twitter? Oh yeah. Twitter also. You have got Twitter also. Do you have Facebook? No, I mean I do, but I don't use it. So your generation is TikTok, Twitter, T- Facebook. No TikTok, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Yeah. Would you? Which one is the best? Which one's the worst? Oh, TikTok is highest. Twitter is the worst because Twitter a lot of stuff can happen on Twitter. Like people and, can and, post and, stuff. And, and TikTok is not bad. Oh, TikTok's not bad. Because, like, people can ex- express themselves in a way. And you can learn stuff. Yeah, you can learn stuff. Like, there's this one guy, I think his name is News Daddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he, he, like, he's from here, the UK, but he gives a lot of facts, like, what's going on in the world. He's basically my source of news, mm. except turning on the TV and watching it. He basically just briefs everything in, like, a one minute video. Do you think the news should be shorter, like, one minute? Oh no 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 no! Because the news goes into m- more depth, but um, uh, like the guy on TikTok, he all he does is like he goes into like he gives a brief explanation of of what's happening, but you and un- you can like he, it's like you understand so much what's mm. happening in that one, in that sh- yeah, in that brief explanation. Okay, I got another question. How do you like? Obviously, some people find it hard when they're growing up because there's a lot of pressure on them especially generations right my generation was like that do you think there's a lot of pressure on your generations to to do things and how do you handle that pressure i mean there is a lot of like pressure because like our parents like Mm -hmm. some of our parents can just pressure us into doing Mm -hmm. stuff that we don't want to do yeah and um so that's that's every generation right happens to me yeah before um but what is specifically your generation is there anything that you guys feel pressured about oh being like i don't know actually mm. like being correct or something like that mm. or like being um sure i don't know i'm not sure i'm not really sure that's good, that's a good yeah answer. do you care about like climate change and stuff like that oh me personally not really mm-hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> some people some people do, some people don't. Because yeah. since I took geography for like GCSE, yeah. I kind of did at that period of time, but now I really don't because like I don't really hear a lot about climate change. Okay. They, people just just ha- should have more common sense. That's what, all I'm saying. What's the biggest issue that your generation cares about? Oh no, okay, your friends. That's a big question. What's My the biggest, friends. What's the biggest issue your friends care Boom. about? What do you guys even talk about? At school. Yeah, oh no like uh, relationships uh, and friendships for sure really that's the biggest yeah thing. because i had to i kind of had to help my friend break up with his girlfriend still oh, let's not let's not put him out there like that no nah, but it's uh, w man's w, w man's I, I, i'm being w man's that's how i was being w man's okay by just helping him out. yeah helping him out what oh. advice did you give him huh what advice did you give him he was being a little scared he was being scared yes yeah, so i had to do it you're like, oh, you yeah, I, no, no, I didn't really do it for him. I told him like, oh, pattern up, like you're gonna, you, you f- you're gonna feel guilty now, but you like, oh, done, yeah. yeah, it's gonna die down soon because it's happened before. Okay, okay, big question then. Let's uh, bring. Thank you so much for doing this. It's actually been really for interesting and fun. What is the? Okay, here's a question. I don't think you have an answer to, but I do want to get your thinking on it, so you can ramble on in a bit. What is the meaning of life? What do you think the meaning of life is? And uh, at your age, what meaning do you feel? What meaning do you get gain from life? Uh, meaning of life. Bomb clock. <laughs> meaning of life. I don't really. All I know yet is like um, 